day in and day out, students and teachers are engaged in academia, whereas they spend numerous hours um, engaging in educational practices. Today's topic is going to focus on learning with mobile-based technologies and their potentiality to enhance students as well as teachers' personal well-being through the methods of collaboration and socialization. Hi, my name is Angela Pierce. What we're going to be talking about today is based on discussion and how mobile-based learning with technology influences students' academic achievement as well as the well-being. Accessibility to physical and uh, physical materials as well as resources. What are some advantages and disadvantages of using mobile-based technologies for the purposes of learning, collaborating, and socializing oneself? Um, in reference to how these um, increase the students' academic achievement as well as personal well-being. The theory um, we're going to talk about is going to be based on the PERMA theory, and we're also going to discuss the opposing views in reference to this theory. Uh, also in reference to bringing the technology aspect into the personal well-being aspect and to also show if using mobile-based technologies really um, provides evidence to show that students have learned, learned while using these mobile-based technologies or digital apparatuses and there we're going to conclude. Using the mobile-based technologies have been essentially complementary to socialization as well as collaboration. It is significant when it comes to uh, students' uh, knowledge acquisition, whereas they have a proper information at their fingertips, as well as it has the, poten the potentiality to increase their academic achievement as well as their personal well-being. However, when students are not provided with the necessary equipment um, to engage in remote learning uh, for the purposes of academic achievement, it could result in them falling behind academically. And these are essentially um, those students or school districts that reside in poor and impoverished communities. Again, when we talk about technology for mobile-based tech learning, um, is it really as nuclear or as rich as it is proclaimed to be? Again, using mobile-based technologies has become the way of the world, particularly for all, uh, all facets of life, where from professional, educational, um, and personal as well. So it does provide students with the opportunity, students and teachers and all other educational stakeholders with the possibility or ability to um, a, a achieve academic success as well as enhance their personal well-being. Again, we talk about how, a, it, how it provides the opportunity for learning as well as socializing and collaborating with in other individuals where it predicts or it could uh, uh, it could predict academic um, achievement and success. And again, we um, talk, we all talk about how technology provides the opportunity for learning diversification where students from for students worldwide are able to communicate and collaborate and learn with one another. Uh, Mobile-based digital apparatuses provide students with the opportunity to stay permanently connected and permanently online, whereas they are connected to the internet wherever they go, regardless of any geographical constraints. So it removes those barriers, it removes the geographical barriers. They are able to communicate or they're able to uh, socialize, collaborate, as well as learn from anywhere, uh, from any time in any place or anywhere in the world. However, there are some factors that need to be taken into consideration when it comes to learning with technology, whereas have students achieved or uh, uh, received the adequate training that is necessary to use these mobile-based technologies and applications effectively and efficiently. What about the funding? Are students and teachers or school teachers able to afford the various uh, elements or services that comes along with using these mobile-based technologies for the purposes of learning, as well as the um, licensing fees? Are they provided with the necessary licensing fees? Are they provided with the necessary tech support? Do they have the quality um, um, equipment that is needed to uh, engage in these mobile-based technologies that reduces the frustration and anxiety when it comes to using these technologies for learning, collaborating, and socializing themselves? And do they have um, stable or um, quality broadband internet connectivities when it comes to using these mobile-based technologies and for students who engage in these remote services, are they able to afford these services? The primary objective of this study is to really understand how mobile-based learning um, influences students' academic well-being as well as their personal well-being when it comes to learning with mobile-based technologies for the purposes of collaboration. Uh, we're going to understand the various pitfalls and re rewards that are associated with learning with mobile-based technologies as well as take into consideration all of the academic stakeholders who plays an integral role in the learning and educational practices. 
and various advantages exist when it comes to learning with mobile-based technologies, particularly for the purposes of collaboration where it, it provokes um, education satisfaction. It provokes academic achievement as well as flexibility and learning with other students or learning from or learning anytime in any place while taking into consideration deadlines that may be set into place. It provides students with the proper, with the position to be uh, feel a sense of connectedness, as well as when students and teachers are provided with the necessary equipment and um, training. It contributes to digital um, equity as well as providing them with the fluidity to learn anytime in any place um, as long as they meet the deadlines again. Also, when it contributes to them um, reduce um, isolation or reduce abandonment or loneliness when it comes to learning with technology, particularly when the um, educational situation is welcoming and it is safe and the students feel as though they are comfortable with disclosing certain or sharing certain information. It provides them with the opportunities to collaborate with other students, as well as prepare, prepare them in reference to how to use technology effectively and efficiently, intentionally as well as constructively. It, provo it provides them with the opportunity to enhance their digital knowledge or digital literacy skills, and then also provokes them, provides them with the opportunity to engage in an all-inclusive um, learning environment. There are some disadvantages of using mobile-based technology when it comes to learning, collaborating, and socializing oneself. Some is spending long periods of time in front of computer screens or on, your, on a single device or multiple devices where it results in eye strains. It can result in a person feeling tired. It can result in them having head pains uh, or headaches, uh, wrist pains, back pain, and neck pain. Having a wealth of information um, at your fingertips could result in information and cognitive overloads. Again, when students are not provided with the quality equipment or have outdated equipment, it can result in the frustrations of learning with mobile technologies because they're more likely to experience technical interruptions, and whereas there are some technical interruptions that is out of the human's control, which also adds to the frustrations of learning with mobile-based technologies when they're not able to afford the, the quality equipment or the licenses or uh, services needed to engage in remote learning. It ha does have the potential to uh, reduce levels of academic achievement, uh, decrease well-being, and result in negative moods. And also, again, without being able to afford these digital technologies, it can result in digital disparities and digital inequities. Using mobile-based technologies for the purposes of collaboration, it does have the potential for students as well as teachers to form alliances, whereas they um, can um, participate in an in all-inclusive um, learning environment. They're able to um, have, take a diverse approach when it comes to the learning processes. They're also, um, when, especially, particularly when they establish a um, certain level of trust, whereas they form a sense of togetherness there, they feel as though their, their collaboration efforts are meaningful and they, they have accomplished something. They're able to share information, engage in group thinking processes to complete a single task or complete a single goal. Um, in reference to getting sing, um, instant feedback, which is, um, which is a method of instant gratification. Uh, however, there is situations where all participants do not um, fully engage, where it's, it's based on social mode things where then you can have a lazy contributor to where they reap the same rewards of the uh, entire group, even though they, even though they didn't put that much time and effort into the process. It provides students and teachers, as well as administrators and all all stakeholders, educational stakeholders, in forming in forming um, healthy relationships as well as connections. When we talk about mobile-based technologies for the purposes of social engagement, a few things that has to be considered when we look at it. Um, we have to take into consideration the social networking practices, those that are readily available and are used for the purposes of personal gain as well as educational attainment. Um, when students are subjected to a positive learning environment, there um, it increases their self-esteem, it boosts positive emotions, it provides them with the opportunity to communicate on a higher level. They uh, they have the ability to establish and sustain long-term and short-term relationships. They feel a sense of achievement and also they are able to establish healthy and meaningful um, connections and engage with others. It represents a positive effective in, when, when it comes to intentional use or constructive use, it reduces the neurological effects that was previously, previously discussed. 
in reference to not, not being subjected to the eye strains, the um, tiredness, and all the um, other pains that is associated with using mobile-based technologies. Additionally, it, uh, it, pro it produces pleasurable experiences as well as with co with cognitively stimulating activities. It can uh, also contribute to uh, the positive engagement social presence. The permit theory of well-being is going to be the basis of this, of this research, which grounds the study, and it's going to be based on, and it is based on positive emotions, engagement, relationships, meaning, and accomplishments. Again, with the learning with mobile technology based on these five different elements, we talk about the learning with mobile-based technologies, whereas when students use these mobile-based technologies, they feel a sense, they feel good about it, particularly if they have been trained or adequate, adequately trained um, in using these devices and they feel comfortable with the shoes. Um, they, they readily engage where it, whereas it enhances their social presence in reference to using these mobile-based technologies, as well as establishing certain and sustaining certain relationships uh, with students as well as teachers. It makes them feel a sense of meaningfulness whereas they become, they be, they are satisfied with the learning experiences and they're able to interact in social network and collaborate with others. In reference to achievement, when using these mobile-based technologies, it makes them feel as though that they have achieved something. It makes them feel as though they'll, if it makes them feel a sense of accomplishment, particularly when the academic experience is rewarding and they feel as though that they have gained something out of it as opposed to not having gained anything or having a negative experience. So we go Ad addressing the opposing views when it comes to um, well-being or academic success, there are some negative um, aspects to learning with mobile-based technology, particularly when it comes to um, negative emotions and students are, students have to deal with negative comments and unwelcome comments or rude comments that is associated with student-student or either student-teacher uh, interactions. When it comes to the engagements, again, the whole negative aspect of the comments um, not being able to engage with other students or being isolated or being or not feeling as though they're unwelcome or having negative counters with other students, um, it can result in students uh, not feeling as though they're um, engaged, again, which leads to them not being able to form authentic relationships and connections, um, whereas it contributes to feeling a sense of meaningfulness it can reduce the feelings of meaningfulness or results in them not feeling as though they belong or and also they're feeling as though that they're not received they have not reached a certain level of achievement or accomplishment when using these mobile based technologies for the purposes of learning collaboration and socializing themselves is there any evidence to show that students have learned with technology, whereas high, reach, achieving high grades is, does not necessarily predict that students have learned using mobile-based technologies? Some of the ways that research has shown to show that students have learned with mobile-based technology is through their um, attitudes and their behaviors, their methods of communication, and how they communicate the information that they've learned, how they apply it to real world situations, which also results in them having positive emotions as well as them feeling a sense of accomplishment. Things to consider when using mobile-based technologies for the purposes of learning, socialization, and collaboration is that it is complementary to that process. It is also complementary to significant uh, knowledge acquisition, as well as it has the ability to augment students' academic achievement, as well as their personal well-being for both students as well as teachers. However, when students are subjected to poor and impoverished communities, they may not be able to afford the necessary services and equipment that results in them or that can that provides the opportunities to engage in remote learning so with that being said it can reduce their levels of academic achievement as well as their personal well-being technology is a lucrative and it provides rich information um, that provide that influences students um, learning experiences or educational as well as educational practices so it is as rich um, at its, at its, as it is proclaimed to be so it, depending on how it is used as well. It can enhance um, the learning experiences, socialization, again, collaboration, which leads to academic success and academic achievement. And also it provides a sense of um, learning diversification for students to engage with those who are geographically um, positioned um, 
near and far. Again, my name is Angela Pierce. We talked about mobile-based technologies for the purposes of learning and how it can increase students' well-being and academic success through the process of collaboration and socialization. Thank you for watching.